Final story on immigration, which is another one that the media talk about as kind of entertainment, but not actually caring about it. Uh, And this is another aspect to the unlimited immigration that we are seeing. Of course, boats coming across the English Channel from France into into England. Child claims almost 4,000 migrants caught pretending to be kids sneak into Britain with some in their 30s. Unaccompanied minors asking for asylum have the right to extra financial help with housing with a host family. Um, I mean, when I see the immigration stuff, Godfrey, we are being absolutely played for fools. And the media, to some extent, has covered this. Um, and yet we have a government that just is plowing ahead um, and mocking the, the British people. Uh, but it, it's no wonder that all these people want to pretend to be kids if they get extra benefits. And it does seem to be that they get everything when they arrive on British shores. Yes, it's not a new story, is it? Do you remember at the very beginning, some of the cartoons, I think it was Matt, uh, cartoonist, you know, there, were, there were men with beards yeah. in, uh, in prams uh, <laughs> with, with dummies in and all this kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, very funny, uh, but not funny, really, if you, if you drill down. So, of course, another thing is that the problem that we have is that the government has subcontracted to certain agencies who are in favour of this kind of thing and hide this kind of thing. So they're sort of fake pseudo charities or government institutions which are deliberately hiding this. Mm. You have a home office which isn't fit for purpose. So yes, this is happening. No, it isn't new. But then it goes back. This is a WEF game. Uh, Theresa May signed up for the United Nations to bring in 100,000 of these people. They're of military age. There are almost no children or women in the boats at all. So this is about military-aged men in between around about 19 and 30, and it has been for some time. They're being brought in and given these luxury hotels, spending money, uh, three meals a day, medical treatment if they need it, so on and so forth. Now, here's the rub when it brings me back to press again. When did you ever hear, even from the back benches in Parliament, or a political journalist, excuse me, Prime Minister, this is quite deliberate, isn't it? This isn't incompetence. You're bringing them in quite deliberately. Government agencies, government-sponsored boats are bringing them in, sometimes from French waters, into Dover, uh, and the numbers are getting more and more and more. Surely this, when we could stop it, we know that, well, I've said this a million times on my channel and your channel and other channels, If you put me in charge, I could stop this by Sunday. You gave me control of the Royal Marines and the Royal Navy. I would charter tugs uh, uh, under the Royal Navy, and I would tow these people back to France. And I've said it again, uh, and I'll say it, with the Royal Navy. We don't need the Royal Navy in the Black Sea or the Red Sea. None of our damn business. We need them in the English Channel. That's where we need our Royal Navy. And if the French get in the way, we sink the French boats. And that would give me great delight. We've done it before. We've done it for hundreds of years, sinking French boots, boats. Let's do some of that. Let's teach the buggers a lesson. I think it's a perfect way to end, Godfrey, uh, with that vision of a a Godfrey future, which, which actually can solve it. Godfrey, I really appreciate you coming along. Thank you so much for your time today and sharing your thoughts on those stories. Great pleasure. Thank you for having me on your channel. Uh, As most of you know, my work is very heavily independently research-based and I get my information from all over the world. It would help if you press the subscribe button and the little bell next to it because the more subscribers I have, uh, the more likely it is that international uh, independent research institutes will share their material with me. It's most helpful and then of course I'll automatically share it with you. Uh, So, surprise, won't cost you anything. Uh, Thank you very much.